Well, here we go, how to read music for English concertina players. I thought we'd uh, jump straight in at the beginning. And, well, sorry, with a piece of music right from the word go, and we'll, uh, we'll have a go at that. It's a tune that I'm sure you know and that you can play on the concertina. I've prepared it in the key of C, and it starts on that tonic note and climbs up the scale. We'll hear it in just a moment. Well, let's have a look at some of the features of a, a piece of music. The first thing to notice is it's uh, written on staves, three staves here, each with five lines and four spaces. Okay, this symbol at the front here is one you need to look out for because that tells you that the music you're reading is suitable for your instrument and is not written for somebody playing a double bass or a tuba for example. So look out for the treble clef there. This C here tells you that there are going to be four beats in every bar. So we've ha you've got used to me saying one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Well that's what we've got here as well. Four beats in the bar. This here actually is a rest sign because this tune starts with a rest and the actual melody begins on beat two. You can see the cursor pointing to that. Now you know I can't sing, but this is going to go. Oh, when the saints. Okay, that's how it's going to go. So, um, what other features have we got? Right, the black notes, the tadpole ones with the tails. Four of those in every bar. Or the equivalent of four of them in a bar. Okay, they're called quarter notes. And four quarters make up a whole, and here's a whole note. And this note lasts for the whole bar, look. So you've got, oh, when the saints, two, three, four, the whole bar, yeah? And then we have a rest, go marching in. Okay, two, three, four, rest. Oh, when the saints, and this note, is a hole, it's got a hole in it, look, but it's got a stem. So that's two beats in the bar. So two beats there, two beats there, that makes up the four beats. Similarly here and here, this is a whole note, so that's all four beats, and so on. Okay, now if I click on here, like that, we'll be able to see our playback control down here. And if I hit play, you'll be able to follow the music. Uh, there's a little line passes over the notes and you'll be able to follow the music and hear the notes being played. So you'll get a feel for what's going on. So here we go. One, two, three, four, rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, rest. Okay, so that's how it goes. Let's hit play and you can see it again. Okay, so for this first session, that's all I want to do, just show you what a piece of music looks like when it's being played. I'm using the computer to do that, of course, and I'll explain to you where to get this free software from so that you can type your own notes and uh, type your own tunes or copy a tune out and hear the tune played, and that'll give you a good idea as to how to read it. Okay, so we'll finish there for now. Hope you found that helpful. Okay, catch you next time. Bye.